This is Washington Live from GLX TV, the global listing exchange. Today we are discussing the issue of clean coal technology and its effects on energy companies like Thermo Energy Corporation, ticker symbol TMEN. We have Dr. Ahmed Gonim of MIT's Mechanical Engineering Department. Dr. Gonim, welcome. Hello, good to be on the show. Dr. Gonim, CO2 pollution has been in the news for a long time, but recently there has been coverage on clean coal technology and specifically pressurized oxy combustion or poxy. What exactly is this new method? Well, um, it's a process by which we can capture CO2 from power plant at potentially higher efficiency and low cost than other, pro other uh, processes. So in oxy combustion, instead of burning coal in air as we normally do, we are going to burn coal in, in, in oxygen. So we're going to produce pure oxygen and burn coal in oxygen directly so that uh, the products of combustion will be composed primarily of CO2, which we can capture uh, at the tail end of the plant. Uh, it's different than processes that have been uh, proposed before for uh, uh, CO2 capture by pre-combustion and uh, uh, post-combustion because it produces a pure stream of CO2 at the tail end that's uh, easier to uh, capture and send to storage facilities. Now, in pressurized oxygen combustion that you refer to, uh, we are proposing to instead of burning in pure oxygen under atmospheric conditions, uh, we are going to burn in pure oxygen uh, under higher pressure. And uh, 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 indications are that this is even more efficient and is likely to be more cost effective <laughs> than atmospheric oxygen combustion. So is this more effective than other clean coal burning technologies currently being used? Uh, most studies that have been done so far indicate that that is the case, that the overall efficiency of this process is likely to be higher uh, than uh, what I indicated before as pre-combustion capture and post-combustion capture. Uh, and it's, uh, by being uh, more efficient, it's also like, likely to be most cost-effective. In other words, it's likely to be cheaper um, and more compatible with uh, today's uh, uh, coal combustion technology. Uh, the uh, reduction in the cost is because the technology is simpler and the compatibility is because it, it's easier to uh, retrofit existing coal plants using oxygen combustion technology than with alternative. Is this an area where there are actually some U.S. companies in the lead? Uh, U.S. companies has, have uh, certainly been looking at oxy combustion technology for a while, both conceptually as well as an effort to uh, demonstrate their effectiveness uh, at, at, at different scales. Uh, uh, several U.S. companies have looked at oxy combustion uh, in the early days or at the conceptual level. Uh, how, how do we uh, 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 formulate the technology and scale it up and uh, how do we integrate it in existing uh, power plants. So uh, the answer is yes, uh, there are uh, US companies who have been active in the area, but I should also say that uh, there are uh, several international companies and primarily in Europe who have also been uh, very active in uh, looking at oxy combustion technologies um, in different forms. Some of them have gone all the way to uh, building uh, 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 demonstration plants <coughs> uh, where they are experimenting with different aspects of this technology. Uh, in Germany, in Italy, uh, we know of uh, work that has been going on in oxy combustion for a number of years now. Well, who are some of these companies that have pressurized oxy combustion targeted at coal plants? 
uh, in in the US uh, in, in the US uh, 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 energy has been uh, uh, looking at uh, conceptually as well as uh, some early design designs of uh, oxygen combustion for plants for some time now um, a number of utilities that have also been uh, 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 investigating the possibility of applying oxygen combustion in, in their systems uh, either independently or in collaboration with other plants uh, oxygen combustion technology uh, requires integrating uh, several components and, and several several uh, pieces, if you like, <coughs> that are uh, really the expertise of different companies. For instance, we need uh, oxygen generation, so there are several uh, players in this area, including some U.S. companies. Uh, we need uh, to build components that will process uh, uh, the oxygen and, and burn for the oxygen. <laughs> and, uh, and we need to integrate that in, in power plants. And again, there are several uh, uh, US companies that have been looking at these uh, different aspects for some time now. So is it possible that this technology might enable the repowering of some of the coal plants scheduled for shutdown? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's one of the unique advantages of oxygen combustion that it is really uh, uniquely suitable for retrofit and repower. Uh, uh, from the beginning, it has been looked at as a, uh, uh, not just an alternative CO2 capture technology, but an alternative CO2 capture technology that can be integrated, integrated in existing power plants. So retrofit and repowering uh, have been uh, uh, some of the strong motivations behind developing this technology. Uh, given that um, <coughs> we also think that it is it's more efficient and likely to be more, more cost effective, uh, the overall economy of uh, repowering um, uh, is, is, is expected to be favorable once we uh, establish all the elements that need to be established to, to actually implement it. Well, Dr. Ghanim, this sounds like it would be great for the environment and a real job saver for the communities where these plants are located. I would like to thank you for being with us today, and we will continue to watch these developments.